What is up people, Tencent here, and today I'm back with another Forge in the Barons Wild video. Today, the deck is Cute Lock. Since last time we've had a huge improvement in this deck, I took out Tamsin and I added in Solarium. While this might seem like a pretty insignificant change, Tamsin was actually not very good in the deck. I put her in because I just pulled her and I thought, oh, we can reuse some of our buffs, but those buffs ended up just discarding themselves when you reuse them. A good example of this is Wicked Whispers that would just discard the copy and didn't really work. So, I finally crafted Solarium and that's in the deck and I think this is going to be amazing. That's because the deck is so cheap that you will be able to play all three of those cards you draw that turn so you won't discard them. The only exception to that is Hand of Gul'dan and if you discard that, you're happy because then you draw three more cards. So I think this already strong deck just got a lot better with this change and I'm really excited to try out today. Without further ado, let's get into those games. Hello Maev, Maev. I always want to say Maev, Maev. Okay. I think I'm gonna drop Soulfire and one minion for an activator. We want an activator. Okay. This could actually be really good if we drop, drop, Wicked Whispers, find a way to discard that Hand of Gul'dan. But we want more minions. We want more minions and more activators. So turn one will probably coin hero power just because uh, that draw is pretty important. And again, the coin isn't hugely important. So the biggest situation where the coin is important is getting out the gandling a turn earlier, but I think we'd rather have that, that smooth hand instead. Okay, what do you got? What do you think they are? If they're Kingsbane, that's, <laughs> this is gonna be a tough one for them. Hello. Solarium is really, 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 really good. Um, we're still just gonna coin hero power though. Ritual, cool. I like to see that. So we want minions. So next turn we can uh, Slarium. Hopefully get some minions. Or we can hero power. Just depends on what we get. See what uh, Skater 4C, our Skate 4C has. We shall see. Oh. Is this, is this Jade Rogue? That would be really cool if it's, if this was Jade Rogue. Um... Do we shut down their dreams? I kind of want to. So we have one, two, three, four. Hmm. Not quite enough minions here. Uh, there are a lot of possibilities. Oh, this is unfortunate. I think we just have to... Go ahead and drop this for raise dead value later. Unfortunate. Maybe they'll trade. <laughs> Makes sense. If we get, okay, we need a minion. Raise dead is, is good, so uh, about there, but not quite, because we have one, two, three, four, then that fifth minion, but I would like to be able to broomstick and wicked whispers in one turn, because that means we will discard the hand of Gul'dan, so we're going to wait again. I think this hand is worth waiting for. Let's just hope they don't do anything cray cray. Okay. So it is Jade Rope, which is very cool. Props to them. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this, hit this, do this, then we'll go ahead and shoot the broomstick, then we'll go ahead and drop this, then we'll drop this. Tactical error? No way. Cool. We'll, we'll drop that. And we'll drop that. And we have Grim Rally next turn. Cool. <laughs> that escalated quickly. And now... I don't know what we're looking for. We want to draw cards. So if they don't have Vanish... That would that would be terrible for us. 
They might have it. Actually, that seems like it would work well in a rogue jade deck. Because they get to play their jade stuff and it's a kind of a board clear. So maybe they got that. It'd kind of stink. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Expired Merchant. Wicked Whispers. Uh, so do we ever have lethal here? I don't I don't think we do. Because so we have three so we could do three and then kill that and have four, five, three, thirteen. Yeah, we would never have lethal. So I'm not gonna do anything here. We're just gonna We're just gonna drop all this. Yeah, we could do six more damage at most. Not worth, I don't think. Either they have Vanish or not. Even if they do have Vanish, I'm feeling pretty okay. Because we'll have enough to play this. Okay. That's cool. We have enough... Uh, we don't have enough, quite enough buffs to make that work. If they hit into one of these, then we do. They totally should hit into one of these. Because we can do... Oh, wait. We do have enough damage. I'm dumb. Librarian. Librarian. And then we can dummy. And then we can shoot. Uh... Play this, shoot this, then discard, and there we go. Cool. Really cool deck from our opponent though. That that was super, super cool. Wait a second. You're part of the 85% of Tencent's viewers that aren't subscribed? That's really cringe. Did you even know that when he hits a thousand subs, he's gonna start doing giveaways and put more money into his account so he can show us new cards? You should definitely subscribe. That's kind of weird. At least think about it. It really helps him out a lot and it means a lot to him. Anyways, I just wanted to say that and enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty. How's it going, MC? I like your skin. Wish you could still get that, but you can't because it's um, only for tavern, the ga fireside gathers, gatherings or whatever. Okay, hmm. I don't think we won all these without a buff, so I'm actually going to drop two of them. Okay, Raise Dead and Wisp, that's fine. We're just going to Librarian turn one. We need our Activator spells. A Solarian would be perfect here, actually. I think I would just fire that off, to be honest. Penguin. Take the book. Ritual of Doom, we like to see that. But we won't quite have five minions. So yeah, Solarium I think would be probably our best draw here. There we go. Sweet. So let's test this bad boy out. Okay. Well, this seems pretty darn good. So we'll drop this. We'll drop this for another card. See what it is, expired merchant. We don't want any of the either of those. Go here, here, and here. And then let's go ahead and drop the wisp. Cool. Sweet. And we don't really want any of those back. Well, that worked out pretty well. That worked out very well. Okay. I don't think Zeph is going to be able to deal with this board. Like, uh, they can kill all the one drops, but we can get a lot of those back with Ray's Dead. I don't think they will be able to deal with the five drop. Yeah, like that is, that's fine. And again, we can get those back. Give us the um, Librarians back. No such luck. Gandling, okay. Now we're looking looking pretty good. I think I will go ahead and just swing face this turn then, because next turn we're just going to Gandling and then drop all these guys. Dang, that's pretty good. Something like a Wicked Whisperers would probably be 
um, solid to draw. Besides that, a hand of Gul'dan would be also nice, uh, just so we can follow up that turn with an expired merchant into hand of Gul'dan. I also wonder an empty. Oh, this is looking pretty good though. So dope that this guy's golden. Okay. Maybe we should have killed that, but uh, I like to be greedy. <laughs> hmm. Makes me think I should not Zeph now, but honestly, what can Zeph do? I don't think they will be able to deal with the board, so... We're not gonna... <laughs> We're not gonna let them. I don't think Zeph can deal with this, to be honest. With the amount of mana they have. Correction. Because with two attack... <laughs> they're all four, which is perfect. So they can't get the, the card that kills all minions with five or more attack. They can get Betrayal. That's probably the best thing they can get. But even that's like not very good. They can use it to kill two of the four fours. That's about it. Yeah. That's about all. We're going to get a pretty... Pretty decent. We're gonna be able to. So we're drawing two. If one of those gold dawn will get quite, quite a bit more cards in our hand. The refill. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's pretty good. But um, isn't anything crazy really? This uh, won't unfreeze them. So we'll just draw. Grim rally. That'll be good in a future turn, but not now. Well, actually, actually, I, I, I'm gonna do that because I don't want our board to die. If only that, um... yeah, we'll do that. If only that unfroze them, that would be really good. See if they can deal with this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because then it makes it so they can, if they have another way of recurring Zeph, they can get the spell that does, kills everything with five or more attack, but I doubt they have that. Cool, they're digging. A, a way to get Zeph back. B, a way to get Zeph back in a cheap enough way where they can do that this turn. Swinging to the Gandling is interesting. Do they have a way to kill the board? That's scary. What do they got? Show me. They could, um, Hysteria would be pretty decent. You have to bank on... I was gonna say bank on one of those hitting the Gandling first. Dury Rat's fun. Grim Rally is better. <laughs> Hand of Gul'dan. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna... You can go ahead and hit here. Is that... That's exactly lethal. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Solid game from a much improved deck. How's it going, Gul'dan? I like your hero portrait. Yours is the only way. It's not very inclusive. Um, we have an activator, but we don't have many, many other minions. Oh, that is the perfect draw. Cool. Hello, hand. Um, I think a. Uh, now we are looking for a, an expired merchant, and then if we get that off, we're probably about good to go off. We just want to get this on a good amount of minions. I think a rule of thumb is if a Ritual Doom would work on the board, then you're probably good to go off. Hello, second hand of Gul'dan. Not what we were looking for. Okay. A draw off. Okay. That's... So we have one, two, three, four. So one more minion and I'm... Uh, ooh. So we'll have one, two, three, four... It's pretty good. I don't think I can turn that down. So we have one, two, three, four, five. 
So I'll drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. And then we'll destroy, I'll destroy the wisp. Because I feel like it. Get that, and then... Yeah, seems pretty good to me. Next turn we can, we can Grim Rally. Side effects. Side effects. Solarium is probably our best. Best draw. Spire Merchant. Arguably, actually, no. Not, well, actually, probably, because we could still hit Gandling. So probably better draw. Hello, Solarium. I think I will wait on that till next turn, but that's still really good. Hello. And I'm gonna... Actually, we're gonna kill this broom because it uh, might be nice off of Ray's dead. And then I will drop this. Cool, and then we're swinging. Cool, what do you got to kill this on turn four? Mr. Probably being a lock. <laughs> we also have a soul fire in hand. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. If we draw another soul fire, though, we're chilling. Didn't get it. I am gonna drop this though. Cause maybe we can find it. No. But we're still looking very good. So let's go ahead and raise dead. This, 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 Ritual of Doom, this, swing, and ah, kind of a tough call. I think we'll, we'll so far. Cool. Well, that worked out. And we can play, we can play that. Cool. What do they got? <laughs> this deck is so silly. It's just very silly. <laughs> if they have a way to kill that, that's actually pretty decent. Okay. Okay. Pretty decent, actually. Let's... There, 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 and let's raise dead. That is incredibly fortunate on our end. <laughs> cool. What? Oh my god. Okay, so, real talk though. Technically, I, I should have, um, instead of playing the expired merchant, I should have broomstick, but I didn't really care. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Because <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well played. Sorry about that, opponent. <laughs> Hello, Jaina. Always so aggressive, Jaina. Okay. Uh... We're gonna keep, I don't know, we're not gonna keep the Gul'dan. We got it anyway, no we didn't, it went back. Uh, well, we have no activator. <laughs> we need an activator. I might be willing to coin out a hero power. Oh, okay, we got time then. But I still wanna coin out the hero power here. That's fine, so now we need Spire Merchant, but a coin in this deck isn't a huge deal. One, we have a bunch of cards that discard the coin. Two, our deck is so cheap that it doesn't really matter. We're just going to draw again. Hello, Disciplinary Gandling. Okay. That is one case where the coin does matter, I guess. is getting that out early, but, I mean, again, we, we have time. I would like an activator pretty bad. Raise dead. Not an activator. Hmm. I think I will drop 
I'll drop this and broomstick because we can raise dead them back when we need to. Go ahead and trade, trade, just to just to conserve our life here. And our turn four is going to be pretty silly, I will say. Especially if they're just drawing, okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> if this is their only, if that's their only play, we are about to have a very good turn. Come on. And a Grim Rally. We're not going to drop that, though. We can't. Uh, we're not waiting. <laughs> Class dismissed. And then we're, we're getting stuff back. You better you better believe we're getting stuff back with Ray's dead. Boom. <laughs> this deck is so stupid. Okay, that about does it for this video. As always, this deck is just so much fun to play. It's it's really stupid, but it's actually really good and really consistent. You just go off so early, so consistently. If you know how to mulligan right, this deck is, oh my gosh, it's, it's really good. And Solarium over Tamsin is a humongous upgrade. It just lets you go off that much faster because, again, the only card you really care about discarding is Disciplinary Gandling. And if you can dodge that, or sometimes you don't even need it, then you just got three cards for one mana. So yeah, this deck is still amazing. It only got better with this change, and I hope everybody enjoyed this video because this was so incredibly fun to play. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you next time.